everyone. My name is Sabine. I'm from Romania, and today I'm going to present to you how to break the wall of battery charging technology. Pollution problem. This is a big, a big problem. In the vehicular transportation, pollution comes from one third of the total greenhouse gas emission every year. And today we are facing a like uh, kind of electric vehicle growing trend. And this electric vehicle is the solution. But the vehicles have some bottlenecks, and one of the most important bottlenecks are the batteries. Batteries of the vehicle can be improved by either changing the internal structure of the battery or by uh, creating a charging technology that can keep the cell in use as long as possible. And this I'm going to present today, a new charging technology. And we call it composite sensor wave form charging method. And basically it's formed from two steps. First step applies a positive voltage to the battery. This, this step is designed to make the, the charging as very efficient. The second step is a, uh, another important step because the negative voltage, we apply a negative voltage and the negative voltage will reverse the, the solid electrolyte interface, this formation. The solid el electrolyte interface we call it ACI and this is one of the most important factor in uh, uh, battery degradation today. So now I'm going to show you some of my results and for comparison, I'm using another uh, supercharger method used by a well-known EV uh, manufacturer. And you can see with our method, the capacity, it's stayed more up than uh, the, the supercharger and during charging, the temperature is lowered by 10 degrees Celsius. This is very important. And another important factor is the charging time. It's 20 minutes faster. No one wants to wait a long time for a, for a, for a charging sensor to charge their vehicles. So this is a very important factor. Another thing that we can do with our method is to revive a cell. We take a cell that was already used on a, with a charging method that is uh, conventional. And after a long time, we can see after just five cycles, we recover like 13%. This will give the battery a secondary use. This will further reduce the production of the lithium-ion batteries and further reduce the pollution of the air. And uh, this is my presentation. 